welcome to my 23 week 23 week baby update we are so excited for another week and why am i wearing a princess tiara and a sash you ask because it's my birthday guys i'm the birthday girl today is my 30th birthday oh my goodness i'm telling you right now i cannot believe i am 30. seriously this is crazy um this week has been so intense on so many levels on this video i'm going to try to stick to the positive only because i've had a lot of emotional and stressful anxiety just because of being pregnant your brain kind of does crazy things but it's my birthday and I want to focus on the positive today so let's start with positive stuff wait we are gonna skip right over that because um, as I talked about last week I kind of want to just um, make sure that I'm doing healthy things although on my birthday my husband he's so sweet if you haven't seen my birthday update what he did for my birthday he did a birthday surprise for me cutest sweetest husband ever but let me just tell you that um, Kit Kats were involved and I ate probably at least 30 of them I mean it's my 30th birthday I have to at least eat 30 Kit Kats that's like only fair right come on seriously so um, we're not gonna talk about weight today <laughs> at all <laughs> uh, we're gonna skip right over that but um so I only have 17 weeks to go. Baby weighs about a pound and is about 11 inches long. Seriously, 11 inches. I'm like, I cannot believe how fast. And it's so fun to keep track because I'm like, like I said, I've never kept track with any of my other kids. And so 11 inches, that is huge. Look at that. That's 11 inches. That's like a, that's like a newborn, that's crazy. Really, 11 inches? That's what the app says. It says it's 11 inches long. He is 11 inches long, and we are so excited. He's growing. He's about a little bit over a pound. The app can. The app did a. Um, you know how they do the fruits, and it said it was a mango, and I was like, wait a second. Mango was like a couple weeks ago. Has to be a different fruit, but it said mango. So, anyways, baby's a mango. Um, we still don't have any baby names set. But we are loving a few names right now. Um, Lux. Tell me if you like it. It would just be L-U-X. Lux. And then I really love Luke. Excuse me. You know pregnancy. Um, I really love Lucas. L-U-C-A-S. Lucas. Um, so tell me what you think about that. And then let me know if you have any other cute boy name ideas. Um, for those of you who don't know, our other three daughters' names are Leia. Isabel and Liliana. So those are our three daughters' names. But um, let us know what we think for our first boy. Um, so let's talk a little bit about this week and what has changed. Um, heartburn has been my biggest constant bothersome. I've had heartburn, but not terrible. Um, and especially because last week as I was researching and I found out that it has nothing to do with what I eat It's just because of the hormone relaxant. I was like, oh, okay Because I was trying to be like, okay, don't eat tomatoes or don't eat, you know, things that cause heartburn or whatever But I'm like, okay, it has nothing to do with that. I can eat whatever healthy stuff I want and cake cups um, So my legs guys my legs are still terrible and they're just horrible I read tons about that and you know what they say the number one thing to help with that is exercise I really need to get on that but you know another thing that I did I did went um, I did go and I purchased a lot or a few new items maternity items because I needed some new maternity clothes but I also noticed I also purchased three new pairs of shoes because I'm thinking okay my feet are always tired I don't have any swelling like when I was reading this week talked about a lot of times mommies at this point uh, experience swelling um, 
if you do experience that, we talked about drinking tons of water. I think some people are like, okay, well, I'm retaining water. I shouldn't drink water um, because my body's retaining too much water. Eh, wrong, opposite. Drink way about 10,000 times more water. We need to drink tons and tons and tons of water. Luckily, I am not swollen at all. My ankles are not swollen. My legs are not swollen. I'm mean, just circulation. My circulation is terrible. Um, I'm, I'm, you know what? I was talked about last week getting compression socks. I could just go to the store and purchase them, like the pharmacy, I'm sure I could purchase them. But I was waiting for my appointment on Friday so I could actually get a, your doctor, or my doctor can actually prescribe one to me. And then I believe the insurance will cover it, but I'm not sure. Guys, I've had such insurance issues, which is, another cause of my anxiety but we're focusing on positive today because it's my 30th birthday so let's not talk about that but let me show you some shoes that i got um okay so this is not it's not really maternity shoes at all but these are just flats super cute they were just flats and i was like okay i want something comfy but cute so and they're kind of inside they're like um how do you call it like a little bit padded but just super simple flats that i got because i'm pregnant and i want flats but I also did, got these flip-flops, okay? These are so, they're my first pair of flip-flops that I've ever gotten that are like these. If you have these or something like this, let me know because I'm telling you, I'm in love with them. They're inside, they're like squishy. And um, what brand are these? The, you know what, I got these at Ross for $12.99. I just, honestly, I saw them and I was like, oh, they're cute, no big deal. I didn't. My eyes weren't super drawn to them, but when I tried them on, oh my heavens, they're like heavenly inside. And so I thought this is perfect. And I've actually been wearing them ever since I got them. Instead of my regular flip flops that I wear, I wear Avianas a lot. They're just a Brazilian brand that everybody in Brazil wears. Okay guys, I'm not sure where I was. Um, the baby woke up, so I had to go see her. This is, today's the first night that all three of my daughters are sleeping in the same room. So the new baby will be sleeping in the uh, nursery, which is where Liliana sleeps now. And she's two, so we are actually trying to move her to the her sister's room, so all the three girls will be together. And um, today was, I've tried it for a couple of nights and it, wasn't, it hasn't been very successful because Lily thinks it's a party and she wants to play with sisters. But, um, so I actually just go back to the nursery and it, which is actually the guest room also. But, um, so we just end up sleeping there. She ends up sleeping there. But today for the first time she did and she slept in her sister's room, but just right now she woke up. And so I had to actually bring her into the, her, the usual room where she usually sleeps and put her back down. But I'm back. <laughs> um, so I was talking about shoes and feet Okay, so I was talking about shoes and how stinking comfy these are and how I love them and how I usually wear Avianas, but these have been my new go-tos. So I wish I could show you how soft they are. So soft. Um, these are also my favorite. So you guys know my husband is a giant and I am tiny in comparison. We're like a foot apart. So I have to always have heels because, you know. So I did buy some super comfy heels. These are the same, the same exact brand as those ones, which is like aeros, aerosols or something. But um, same soft, like comfy inside, and they're just wedges, brown, kind of just basic, you know. But I love them, and I think these were like twenty-two dollars, twenty-one ninety-nine, something like that. Guys, I'm super cheap. I always buy super cheap stuff. I try. I mean, I went to like Nordstrom's and I went to where else did I go? Like some fancy stores and I'm just like, I didn't find anything I liked. And then I go to my Ross, you know, my department store. So for those of you who don't know, Ross is like a, like a discount department store where you can find like just any old stuff. And it's super, super affordable. So um, let me show you what else I got from there. Okay, so this is just like a white dress. I loved it because it's super, super stretchy. And this particular one is not um, a maternity, actual maternity dress, but I found it as I was leaving and I was like, oh, it's, I love the sleeves and it's long and it 
like when I put it on, it like stretches with my belly. So I was like, perfect. So we'll just consider it maternity dress. And then I got this awesome maxi skirt because every pregnant lady loves the maxis. And it's got the thick band on the top and then the stripes, whatever. It's just a uh, navy blue and gray. But this was like $10.99 at Ross. So it was perfect. And I love the skirts. And then, I think I showed you guys my outfit that I had today. This is something else I got. This is a maternity shirt. And I don't love the um, sleeveless things. I'm not a big on sleeveless because I got chubby arms. But, but for some reason, tons. I mean, I am in South Florida and it's really hot. So I really needed to get some sleeveless things. And it's cute. It's sheer. It's see-through. And so... It's a maternity shirt. And my favorite purchase were these pants, which have the high waist. And they were like $12.99. And they're just a long skinny jean, black skinny jean. And they're super, super, super comfy. But since we're here, let's see my belly shot. Okay, baby is growing, guys. Okay, look. Look at this. I am so pregnant and I love it. From the front and from the side. So I also got my mom for my birthday. She got me some fun items too, which I'll probably have to show you next week or on the next mommy update. Um, but maternity clothes, I don't know who decided that it's not cool, but I love maternity clothes. I know how some people love to stay in their regular clothes forever, but I'm like, whatever, bring on the maternity clothes. I'm like in love with maternity pants. They're like the best thing ever invented. Maternity shirts are like, whatever. <coughs> like the th same thing as regular shirts. So as much as I want to keep this update positive and upbeat, I do want to talk a little bit about um, my depression and anxiety and my panic attacks that have been getting way worse. Um, those of you who saw our update or my, our vlog a few days ago did see that I had a panic attack at work and um, it was really bad and I had to call my husband and you know it was just, I, I really thought I was I mean, I, I hate to say this, but I felt like I was like gonna die. Like I felt like my heart was being out of my chest. Like I couldn't feel my lips, which that's not normal. I some, sometimes I can't feel my extremities, like my legs, I can't feel my legs or I can't feel my arms, but my lips have never been, it was just a different kind of sensation. So I couldn't feel my lips and I was having a hard time breathing um, because Again, I just, my mind wasn't really focused and I made a mistake and then I started panicking over the mistake I made and it was just a really bad scenario. My boss actually sat me down and talked to me. She's like, we really need to figure something out. Your health is more important than this job. The baby's health is more important than this job, which I totally 100% agree, you know, but I feel like, I don't know, I, this pregnancy um, has been really tough on me emotionally. Not so much on my body. My body's doing fine. I'm doing fine, you know, physically. I walk around, I do everything fine. But emotionally, it's been really tough on me. Um, I think I told you I have gotten some, um, you know, a psychiatrist. And so um, I have my first appointment. I did a phone appointment. And then my first, like, face to face appointment is this Friday. So on my next update, I'll tell you how that went. But um, I don't know. I think that we're going to have to figure something out here. Um, I'm currently not on any medication for like depression or anxiety or, or panic attacks. I'm currently not, not on any medication, but I am using essential oils. I'm using like natural remedies. I do doTERRA oils, which if any of you haven't heard about them, they are incredible and amazing. Uh, my sister is... Um, really really big into them and she introduced me to them and I mean ask me if you have any questions about them because I love them but I, that's what I've been doing um to try to make it better and it has improved a lot but on the days that I forget to put oils on or if I don't do it soon enough you know it kind of gets um 
bad or, or whatever the case is I just have to be consistent with doing the essential oils because they do help but if medicine is necessary then by all means you know medicine is what it is I'm super holistic I don't really ever use medicine for anything my daughter somebody was over the other day and her child was not feeling well she's like do you have any Tylenol I'm like we don't have even Tylenol like baby Tylenol or kids Tylenol children Tylenol in our house if we needed it I'd go to CVS and buy it but for the most part we usually just do essential oils with the girls even you know it's just everything so um we'll have to see what the doctor says at my appointment on Friday and see how she feels my brain health is going and how my mental health is going because um, I certainly don't want this baby to be affected by that negatively. I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes, but we're keeping this vlog positive. Um, I was so thankful for, you know, the wonderful birthday that my husband and my children and my family prepared for me. Um, turning 30 has been great. Oh, somebody asked me, they're like, do you think that you're struggling with anxiety because you're turning 30 or whatever the case is? No, I, I mean, personally, I don't think that is. I, I'm not a huge one like, oh my gosh, I'm turning 30. No, I'm, so, I'm excited about it. 30 is the new 20. I mean, whatever, seriously. <laughs> and I mean, I, I mean, seriously, I'm gonna have four kids by 30 like I'm I have a wonderful family I'm very blessed I'm you know 30 it's not I'm not dreading this at all I'm very it's very welcomed I'm excited about it I'm excited for the next 30 years I'm excited for everything so um, you guys thank you so much for always being so supportive seriously I am bad about responding to the, <laughs> to the um, to the comments I'm going to today I promise I will reply to all of your comments um, but I love you guys Seriously, so many of you are so supportive in all of your comments and um, and so many of you can relate to what I'm going through, which is amazing because I'm like, you guys, we're all together in this. We're, we're doing this together. We're all mommies together. We're, you know, we're fighting this fight, the same fight together. So let's keep it up. Let's keep motivating each other. Um, thank you for your comments and your support. I can feel your love and just I know a lot of you have prayed for me thank you um, someone was telling me you know about how she prayed for me and uh, let me tell you that every single day I pray to make sure that I can make it through that day so yes thank you for all that support that you've given me and just the prayers and everything you guys are so amazing um, but for now I think I'm gonna wrap this up or I'll take a talk forever. Um, it's my 30th birthday. Um, so next time when you see me, I'll be 30 and a week. So it's been so fun guys. This is my wrap up for my 23rd week update. We only have 17 weeks to go um, with baby number four, our first boy. And we are calling it a night. Good night guys, peace. Is that how I feel? Oh. Put your hands on the door. Open it. Open your eyes. Happy birthday!